Alrighty, folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're going to talk about the 2024 Dodge Challenge or Charger pictures uh, that you're seeing now uh, that have been uh, released, <laughs> so to speak, uh, on what's coming up from Dodge in 2024. So let's talk about it. All right, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, back to the vlog. I appreciate y'all tuning in, watching these videos. I 100% appreciate it. But don't forget to subscribe if you like what's going on. So let's talk about these 2024 pictures that uh, that have been released, leaked, depending on who you talk to. Um, yeah, who knows? And yes, I'm in the Jeep today. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Hopefully you can see back there. Oh, shake and bake. She got the cover on her. She's sitting back there under the cover because because it's raining. <laughs> and I finally got a cover to keep some of the weather off of uh, off of shake and bake. But uh, we're here to talk about this 2024 Dodge Charger. Uh, that speculation is the end of 2024. Uh, who 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 really knows when this uh, when this car is going to come out? But the biggest question is, is it going to be the EV variant or is it going to be uh, one that's got got the new Hurricane engine in it? The inline six turbocharged inline six, six cylinder. Lots of speculation out there. There's a whole bunch of people speculating <laughs> about what's going on. Uh, one of the big, big speculations is this photo here that's been leaked. What you can clearly see, uh, there's a trans tunnel built into into uh, into that car. So that leads a lot of people to believe, with a lot of speculation, that there's going to be some kind of gas-powered variant uh, of of the Charger when it comes out. Because in an EV, you don't need a trans tunnel. So why would you engineer a trans tunnel into a car that doesn't that doesn't need one? That's what's leading to to all of the speculation, really, that this is going to be there's going to be the uh, hurricane variant uh, of the Charger, and I'm sure there's going to be sooner or later, um, and, and it could be the first one that comes out. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to speculate because some of those people have some insiders at Dodge. I I don't necessarily have that. So Mod to Fame's put out stuff. Racer X has put out stuff. I'm sure you guys have seen Knockout 360's put out some things. Uh, RT Life has put out some things. There, there's a lot of people putting out there that that do more news than me. Cause y'all know me, I'm not a big news guy. But uh, this seems to be one of the bigger, uh, bigger news things that's going on today. Uh, and a lot of people said, "Hey, are you gonna chime in?" Here I am. I'm chiming in for you, folks. <laughs> So, um, like I said, go watch uh, Mod to Fame. He has a lot of, uh, I'm going to say factual based, because it's a lot of things that I just said. You know, the trans tunnel, the the EV is is behind uh, behind the power curve. You know, all of these things. But there's definitely, and there's almost no doubt. And it all comes back to that trans tunnel. That's what everyone's banking on. The car has a trans tunnel. They're going to put some kind of gas-powered variant out there. And, and that very, very well may be true. And now I know a lot of the purest muscle car folks, uh, us V8 folks, I'm one of you. <laughs> I'm a V8 guy myself. Uh, but you cannot discount... A lot of these inline sixes, um, especially when you talk about turbocharged, twin turbocharged. Um, just look at look at 
look at the cars cars out there making huge power with with inline sixes the gtrs the skylines the hondas the uh bmws the mercedes there's a multitude of cars out there making huge power um with with the inline six now yes you don't quite get the sound from uh from an inline six that you get from a v8 but this is the way the market's going folks right now uh, and, and y'all know the deal um you know the government i hate to say this because i'm I, I try and stay away from political speak uh but the government is pushing car makers uh in this direction uh, you know, and Dodge has finally jumped on the EV bandwagon when everyone else is ditching the EV bandwagon. Ford is ditching ditching their EVs because sales are terrible. Chevy is ditching EVs because their sales are terrible. Um, I just don't think EVs are as popular as a lot of people make them out to be. Uh, I, and my opinion, I have no facts to back this up. Uh, I don't think EVs are as good for the environment as people make them out to be. Now, are they better for the environment? Obviously, yes. Uh, but the biggest question, you know, is, hey, what happens with the batteries? Where does the power come from that you're charging your EV from? Um, there, there, there's a lot of stuff out there. Um, you know, do your own research, but I just don't, they're, they're good, better for the, I would argue they're better for the environment than probably, uh, you know, a gas powered vehicle, but they're not as good as all of these companies make them out to be. But all right, that's my, that's my EV stand. And that's really, like I said, these big manufacturers are getting away from, you know, making all those EVs, Ford, Chevy, I don't know what Dodge is going to do. Now, there's some speculation out there that Stellantis is trying to kill Dodge. That could be another thing, right? Uh, you know, it could be, you know, Stellantis's inside move to, uh, you know, get rid of Dodge. Uh, I, I, I don't know. There's a lot of speculation on that out there, too. Um, I'm hitting a lot of subjects here. Uh, I'm sorry. But, Yeah. 2024 new dodge is coming what's going to be in it your guess is as good as mine right now uh like i said it could be the ev variant or it could be one of the three supposed variants uh, uh of the inline six uh that's coming out so really we're just gonna have to wait and see and uh and you know, we're just going to have to take our lumps. Uh, you know, the the V8 from Dodge, the Hemi, the he we all know it. The Hemi is dead for now. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Um, can it come back in the future? Arguably, it could come back in the future. But uh, like I said, the way, the way things are going for the Dodge brand, uh, it, it's... It's it's not looking good in the future <laughs> for for having Dodge uh, hanging around because what do they have left? Uh, I don't know. Are they still making caravans? Okay, they have a van, <laughs> they have a van and a few variants uh, of a supposed muscle car. Um, who knows? who knows um there's a whole lot of other folks out there uh that that dig deep into this news like i said mod to fame racer x uh knockout 360 butter to insider uh these guys dig way deep deep into uh into these news things and they get much more better information from me i'm just kind of summarizing what i've been hearing and what i've been seeing and then taking what i've been hearing what i've been seeing formulating my opinion on what's going to happen uh and it's pretty much the same opinion <laughs> that everybody else has on what's going to happen um eventually we're going to get the ev variant 
there's gonna there's almost no doubt there's gonna be some i6 variant uh, or several I, uh, inline six variants uh, of the charger. And after 2024, 2025, what happens to the Dodge? Big question mark. But that's going to do it for this one, folks. If you're stopping in for the first time, please check out the rest of the channel. If you like what's going on with the channel, do them a few things. Like, subscribe, smash the bell, shoot me a comment, share it on your social media. I'll definitely appreciate it. Shake and Bake back there will definitely appreciate it because y'all know the deal. Every red penny from, from YouTube goes right back into Shake and Bake. That's it for this one, folks. Until the next one, adios.